به دعوت کمیته دوستان ایران آزاد در پارلمان اروپا جلسه ای تحت عنوان مردم ایران علیه فاشیسم دینی به ریاست استران سیونسون رئیس این کمیته در پارلمان اروپا برگزار شد در این جلسه نایب رئیس پارلمان اروپا آل خوبیدال کادراس و شمار دیگری از نمایندگان پارلمان و همچنین محمد محدثین مسئول کمیسیون خارجی شورای ملی مقاومت ایران شرکت داشتند در ابتدای این جلسه پیام ویدیویی خانم مریم رجوی رئیس جمهور برگزیده مقاومت ایران خطاب به اعضای پارلمان پیرامون شرایط کنونی و خواست مردم ایران پخش شد در این پیام آمده است First of all, allow me to sincerely congratulate you on your election. Dear friends, today, once again, I turn to you for your support for the people of my country in very extraordinary conditions. I come to you as true friends of Iranian people and their resistance. We are in a time of fear and hope. time of hope and inspiration for the advances of the uprisings and time of grief and shedding tears shedding tears for the young girls and boys who are being tortured raped and killed by the mullah's regime since 13 june the nationwide uprising has escalated at every opportunity. Khamenei and Ahmadinejad's faction has failed to stop the uprising by brutal suppression. Khamenei has failed to contain this rift. After Tehran's million strong uprising in July 17, Khamenei threatened Rasanjani if uh, he does not succeed In this test, he will face his downfall. Today, many clerics are also against Khamenei in the Friday prayer ceremony on 17 July. Rafsanjani tried to save the regime, but his remarks uh, widened the rift within the regime. All indications are that This victorious phase cannot be reversed. This is the victory for the policy which you have been advocating for years. You supported the third option. Today, the people of Iran, in their uprising, demand the same solution. On the contrary, the policy of appeasement helped Ahmadinejad to rise to power. Take a look at the Iranian situation today, which policy proved to be right and which policy has been void. We are now doing our uh, utmost to advance the uprising and bring about people's sovereignty. We are also doing our best to achieve this with less uh, bloodshed. Therefore, We even ask the uh, defeated faction of the regime to reject Balad Faqih and join the people despite their past role. We have welcomed Ayatollah Muntaziri's decree for dismissing Khamenei. You know that Masoud Rajavi, in a message to the Assembly of Experts, called for dismissing Khamenei in order to lessen their crimes. We demand the annulment of the sham elections and advocate holding a free election under the supervision of the United Nations. We call on all government to suspend their political and commercial ties with the regime until the end of suppression. During uh, July 17 uh, uprising, millions of Iranians once again in their uprising voiced 
they rage toward those governments which supporting Ahmadinejad in their uh, angry slogans. The world must listen to them, the dossier of suppression and killing of Iranian people and political prisoners must be referred to the United Nations Security Council. Those responsible for the killing and suppression, including Khamenei and Ahmadinejad, should be brought to justice in front of an international court. I call on European Parliament to demand from the EU governments and the EU Commission to respect the demands of the Iranian people. We expect the European Parliament to take a leading role in imposing diplomatic sanction on the regime and leave no place for activities of the supporters and lobbyists of the religious fascism. The people of Iran are grateful to the European Parliament for its concrete support of the city of Ashraf. The great achievement of the European Parliament in this regard and in particular the resolution adopted on 24 April is unforgettable. The people of Ashraf would like you to support the Iranian people's uprising with all means at your disposal. I thank you all.